Hi guys, welcome po sa Hugot Sip na yan. This is Sir JV, your Matt Kahugot, and welcome po sa Hugot Sip na yan. So welcome po mga Matt Kahugot, at nandito po tayo ngayon sa ating video for grade 7 ulit po. So ito guys ay pangalawang video natin for algebra expression. So for today's video guys, we're going to evaluate the said algebra expression. So So before we evaluate algebra expression, recall muna natin guys what algebra expression is. Algebra expression guys ay mga combination ng iba't ibon, iba't ibang uri ng algebraic terms. Commonly guys yung ating mga constant, variable natin, mga pinagsama-samang term at iba pa. Doon guys sa bubuo yung algebra expression. Now, ito to guys ay can be a number, a single variable, letter, number, operational symbols. At kapag yung mga pinaghalo-halo mo na yung mga terms na nabanggit ko guys, doon na bubo guys ang tinatawag na algebra expression. At ito guys yung mga example niyan. Nakaparehas yung video natin last time. Now, the question is, how do we evaluate algebra expression? When you say evaluate guys, you're trying to get the value. So, simple lang po to. We follow a simple step, a simple procedure, or multiple steps in order for us to determine the value of algebra expression. So, ito daw yung mga steps. Dalawa lang yan, guys. The word substitute the given value for each variable. Since, guys, ang variable ay letter na nag-represent ng any value or a value ng isang number, ang gagawin natin, guys, magsasubstitute tayo ng value sa ating mga variable sa mga letters natin. At para isimplify siya, gagamitin, guys, ating rules ng GEMDAS. Ano ba yung GEMDAS? Ang GEMDAS guys ay grouping symbols, exponent, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Guys, ito yung arrangement ng pag usob na gagawin natin. Siyempre, unahin natin yung mga grouping symbols, yung mga parenthesis, bracket, kasama guys yung exponent di yan after noon, multiplication and division muna, at lastly, addition and subtraction. So, para mas mainin natin guys, Let's have yung ating mga example. Evaluate algebra expression. Evaluate 3x minus 2y plus 5 when x is equal to 2 and y equals to 4. Ano guys kaya yung value ng x ng 3x minus 2y plus 5 kung ang x daw niya ay 2 at saka ang y niya ay 4. So napakasimple guys ang ating first step. Ang kailangan natin ay isubstitute. So, yung x natin ay papalta natin ng 2, ang y natin ay papalta natin ng 4. So, making that 3 times 2 minus 2 times 4 plus 5. So, sabi sa GEMDAS, unahin daw natin yung may parenthesis. Ano may may parenthesis dyan? Yung 2 at saka 4. At ano yung process nila? Multiplication. Kaya mayayari dyan, 3 times 2, that is 6. 2 times 4, that is 8. So, may isang 6 minus 8 plus 5. Now guys, kapag kayo ay naggagawa ng ating problem, mag-solve kayo ng problem, unahin nyo muna yung nasa unahan bago yung pa uli. Ibig sabihin, magagsimula tayo sa 6 minus 8 bago yung plus 5 pa. Kaya siya may negative 2 plus 5. So gagamitin nyo guys ito yung rules ng integers kapag kayo ay nag-solve. So, negative 2 plus 5, that will become a 3. Ibig sabihin guys, ang value ng 2x minus 2y o 3x minus 2y plus 5 kapag daw x ay 2 at ang y mo ay 4 ang value po niya ay 3. Now, that item could be applied on our next item. Evaluate 2a plus 5b kapag daw ang a niya ay negative 2 at ang y niya ay 3. Guys, kailangan alam nyo dito yung rules ng integers when you are trying to multiply ha. Pag magkaiba ang sign, laging negative. Kapag parehas ang sign, positive. At syempre yung rule sa integers kapag nag-subtract ka, kailangan po, kayo po ay nagpapalit ng sign. Okay? Try natin to. O first nating step ay kailangan pong isubstitute. 2 times negative 2 plus 5 times 3. So 2 times negative 2, that is negative 4. Magkaiba ang sign nila guys ha. 5 times 3, that's 15. So, ngayon, pwede tayo mag-add. At pag nag-add tayo, 
ng magkaiba ang sign we subtract. So, negative 4 plus 15, that will become a positive 11. So, 11 ang ginamit natin guys, na positive siya, since mas malaki ang 15, which is the positive side, kaysa sa negative 4, which is our negative. So, guys, ha, dapat i-recall ninyo yung mga rules sa integers para hindi kayo malito sa pag-usolve nito. Okay? Next example. 3x squared minus 2x plus 5 when x is equal to 2. Isa lang variable natin kaya, single variable to, which is our x. So, we're going to substitute them. 3 3 times 2 raised to the second power minus 2 times 2 plus 5. So, unahin guys natin da. Gem das, syempre unahin natin guys yung exponent. So, may siyang 3 times 4 minus 4 plus 5. So, pasin nyo dito ha. So, 3 times 2 times 2, dahil, dahil siya nasa squared, siya po yung magiging 4. Negative 2 times 2, so naging negative 4 plus 5. Ngayon, simplify muna natin to bago tayo mag subtract. It will become a 12 minus 4 plus 5. So, 12 minus 4, that's 8. Plus 5, that will become 13. So, ang given natin yung sagot po, kapag ang x natin ay 2 sa ating expression, yung po ay sagot ay 13. So, napakasimple guys. Substitute nyo lang. Gamitin nyo guys yung gem dash. At syempre yung i-apply nyo yung rules for integers. Whenever you're trying to do the process. At napaka-importante po nun mga mat kahugot. Okay? Next example natin guys. 2CD minus 2. Where when C is negative 2 at D is 3. So, to become a 2 times negative 2 times 3 minus 2. So, that will become a negative 12. So, pares positive, isang negative. Magkaiba pa rin ang sign, guys. Magkaiba pa rin ang sign. Kaya po ang sagot natin ay negative 12. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4 times 3 ay 12. Now, dito guys, magkakamiran tayo ng, ano, ha? ng rules for integers para gusto subtract. Yun, pinalitan mo yung sign nito, tapos po subtrahin. Pinalitan natin from positive 3 naging negative 3. And our answer is negative 15. Guys, para po mas madali nyo maintindihan to, kailangan po alam nyo yung rule sa integers at i-recall nyo po yan para mas madali nyo po masagutan to. Guys, especially guys, ang medyo komplikado do, syep, nito, dito syempre ay yung subtraction at saka po division. Ang multiplication, basta magkaiba naman ang sign. Ah, same thing with division. Magkaiba ang sign, negative. Parehas ang sign, positive. Sa subtraction naman, kapag mag, mag-subtract ka, baguhin mo yung sign ng subtrahend bago ka mag bago ka proceed sa addition. At pag guys, kung saan mas mataas ang number in terms of their sign, yun ang gagamitin mong sign sa inyong final answer. At guys, para maintindihan natin kung naintindihan nyo po yung ating problem for today, which is evaluating algebra expression, I'm going to leave you two item to answer with. So, bibigyan ako guys ng 5 minutes para maintindihan po natin whether you understand your topic or not. Get a paper guys and a pen. Timer start now.
Okay guys, 5 minutes off and I know that you're done with your what you're doing now. So para sa sagot natin sa number 1 That will be negative 3. So, tingnan nyo kung tama po yung ginawa nyo yung pagkasagot. 2 squared, that's 4. Negative 4 times 2, that's negative 8. Plus 1. Naging negative 4. And that will become a negative 3. So, number 2 naman natin, guys. So, 4 times 3 times 2 squared. So, medyo komplikado siya. So, isang 4 times 3 times 4. 4 times 3 times 4, naging 48. Ito naman ay 3 times 3, that's 9 times 2, naging negative 18. So, all in all, that is 32. Oh. And that's our answer, guys. So, natama ba kayo, guys? I hope nakatama po kayo. At sana po nat nat natamaan nyo yung mga item natin para mas malaman kung naitindihan ninyo yung topic natin. And, guys, if you like this video, can you like this, share it with your, syempre sa inyong mga sujante, for teacher, Kung ikaw naman po ay isudyante, pwede po sa mga classmate ninyo. And don't forget to like, follow, and support my channel guys. Hugot Sip na yan. And Behind Your Life TV. God bless po. Ingat. See you guys in the next video. Sana po may natunan kayo. Ingat po. God bless.